Yes. How are we doing, Charlie? Josh, what up? Pretty good, dude. Honestly, pretty bored. Uh, a lot of video games just been playing, dude. But we're getting through it. I've been grinding on the Nintendo 64. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, what games? Uh, Zelda. Zelda? Okay. Exclusively. Like, only. Dude, if anything less, just we don't want it. Yeah, pretty much. Just want to say I appreciate for accepting my request. Oh, the no problem. Week, never let, the yeah. host last week, week would never let me in. Hey, got to get you in here first. You know. Yeah. yeah. I respect, I respect that. Start. I respect that. Whoa. Whoa, we got some obscenities up there. That girl, Susie Q. <laughs> <laughs> what? Someone's having a rough day. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, welcome to club, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> guys, welcome to club. <laughs> uh, guys, we're going to be starting soon. Uh, maybe about five minutes, we'll be starting. Um, yeah. If you want to check in with uh, another potential customer, we're going to head out with uh, Josh. Yeah, all right. I'll catch you guys later. All right. See you guys. All right, let's see if we can get let's, – you know, let's bring Jake Jensen. See what he's up to. Oh, that COD down, guys. It's it's been taking way too long. Jake Jensen, Charlie Pete, the glasses, Pete the glasses, mm -hmm. kind of fresh, kind of fresh. A uh, new kind of new, a little bit of new action here. Oh yeah. Uh, so I heard you uh, dyed your hair. It didn't work. <laughs> I like, I'm, it wasn't even an April Fool's joke. It literally, I spent thirty dollars on this stuff, which was apparently too much, but it just didn't work. Oof. Hey, two to the Dolphins, hot take? Two, ooh, I... Mm. A little chat. I don't know. I don't... Uh, t I mean, if they're... Yeah, probably. What yeah. else do they need? Tackles, but they can get that later in the draft? Yeah, the tackles, it's going to happen. Who knows? What's the name of this club, dude? The name of the club? It's just Quarantine Club. Quarantine Dude, we got some haters in the comments. I don't know. Uh, oh man, that's, you remember that? Yeah. Did we we told you about that one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. But oh, we got Dolphins trading up for Burrow. Oh, that's that's, hot, take that's a hot take. I just man, I just know the Redskins are probably going sixteen and zero, so I, I can't be mad. All right, we just got uh, – all right, Ryan, we're going to tune it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to club, everybody. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to get these people out of here. I don't know. <laughs> They're going crazy. Dude, comment section live. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to head out all of right, here. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to bring someone else in. All right, all right Jake, I'll you talk. See you, buddy. I'll try, try to get one more person in here. Anybody else uh, trying to join? Chat it up. Quarantine live. Oh. Any other comments? Hot takes, guys? All right, we're going to get club started. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to play this game called Gaspionage. All right? So... Here's what the game is. So we're going to say a question. We're going to invite someone on the live stream. Um, and they're going to say – it's going to be a percentage question. Um, and they're going to say percentage. And you guys in the comments are going to say higher or lower than what the person on the video or on the stream said. So as I would like to be um, in for the game, get some requests going. Send your requests in. All right, we're going to bring Savannah on for the first question. Savannah. I just like to say I'm having an allergic reaction to pollen right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm good. Well, good thing all the hospitals are on quarantine, so you'll be good. Right. All right, you ready for the first question to play Gaspionage? Yeah, I'm ready. 
All right, guys. So we got round one. You know the rules? Kind of. All right, so we're going to say a question. So what percentage of people make their bed every day? What do you think? Um, like 60-ish percent. 60%? Yeah. All right, guys, in the comments, say higher or lower. Savannah, let's take a look at your bed. Is it made? No. Oof. So you're, you're thinking high. Guys, what do you think? In the in the comments, go higher or lower. And the winner of Guess Me Nice will get a DoorDash meal. So keep them in the comments. Send your comments in. Higher or lower than 60%. Savannah, how's your day been going? Looking kind of rough. I like my eyes are swollen and my nose. I can't breathe out of it. We have a comment from Kylie. Do you have coronavirus? Kylie, I don't. I I went on a run the other day and then my nose started acting up and then I went again today and then I just can't breathe out of it now. Oof. Well, we hope you get better. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go to the answer. So final comments in. The correct answer is. 20%. 20% of people make your bed. I'm, I'm going to be in one of those 20%. Every day, you should make your bed. Start the day off right. Uh, yeah. All right. Next viewer. All right, Savannah. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any more requests? We're going to say bye to Savannah. Thanks for joining us on our game, Gaspinage. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. Get one more viewer in here. Any, any requests? If you want to be on a live stream, send a request through and get on the game Gaspionage. Guys, the next question is going to be, while we get people to send their requests in, what percentage of people consider 60-degree weather to be T-shirt weather? So if it's 60 degrees, you're throwing on a T-shirt, or you're not, you're putting on a sweatshirt. Uh, let's go with uh, – let's get Ellie Pruitt in here. See what's happening. What percentage people consider degrees? Hi. Ellie, how's it going? It's going good, Charles. What was the question? So the question is, what percentage of people consider 60-degree weather to be t-shirt weather? Um... <laughs> What? So just give me a percentage. 70. 70%. Are you wearing a t-shirt right now? No. Is it 60 degrees? No. It's like 50. Guys, in the comments, say higher or lower than 60%. Okay, let me change it. Let me change it. Let me change oh, it. Oh, we're having a change. Mid-game change. How about 50%? All right, 50%. So you're going half, 50-50. Yeah. All right, guys, send your comments higher or lower than 50%. Ew, I look weird right Has your quarantine been going? Productive Terrible. or unproductive? Just kidding. It's going good. That's good. I'm just no corona kind of in, really in the good. family? I'm just... Uh, actually, I think Annie had it. <laughs> Annie had corona. Um, like, you heard it here live like on weeks, Instagram Live. Like two weeks ago, before it was a big, bigger deal. Okay, so what All do right. we do now? Sorry, I just joined. What what uh, what is that right, so one gonna... higher and lower? Okay, so they're gonna keep a tally and whoever gets the most correct, they're gonna get DoorDash sent to their house as a prize. <gasps> oh All right. Oh, so we have no changes. So original was sixty, there's no changes. We're sorry. We're getting a lot of feedback from the comments. But we're gonna go with the correct answer is forty four percent. Oh, yeah, so Jake, she did have it. Guys, yeah. if, if I'm if I'm in six degree weather, gotta throw like a sweatshirt on, maybe some shorts. To be honest, who said I'm actually not? She did have Corona. Anyway, yeah, thanks for letting well, me. Yeah, thanks for joining. <laughs> okay, bye. You have yeah. to take me out of here. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna kick you out real quick. Remove Eddie <laughs> Pruitt. All right, guys, so that concludes the game. All right. That was first just round one. All right, so now we're going to move on. So we got Blake Ruby in the house. Um, 
he's going to be doing a song for us, uh, you know, because we're not going to sing a club. We're just going to And, guys, we also have a, a viewer challenge. So right now we're at 37 viewers. If we hit 47 viewers, we're going to have Andy come on and brush your teeth with just what do you guys think? So we have soy sauce, ranch, jelly, mustard, or hot sauce. So if we get 47 people in the live stream, she's going to have to brush her teeth with one of those condiments. Can we do it? I don't know. Tell your friends. We'll see if uh, we we'll get Blake in here real quick. Got some technical difficulties. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. Brennan Sapp, get the request in. We'll get you on there. Wasabi. Toothpaste? Hey, we're just brushing teeth with toothpaste out here. All right, guys, so we're going to have some real technical difficulties. I'm going to exit out. All right, guys, join back in, though. I'm going to end it real quick. Join back in. All right, guys, we're back in it. All right, Blake, we're going to try to have him come in. We're going to be uh, let him sing a song for us. He's got a good one cooked up for us. Brennan, what up? So we'll have him come in. Yeah, my internet, guys, it's a... Uh, Yo, no, what up? What's going on, guys? Oh, that's a cool picture of me. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I'm Blake. I um, I graduated in 2016 from Westminster, and I did CC Wild. Actually, we have club in this basement still. That's why I've got this thing behind me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna sing a song. It's called Holy. It's on my new album. Ooh, check it out. But, uh, oh, the space shirt. Yeah, Brennan, you should have been wearing that. What's up, guys? Yeah, um, I'm going to play a song. Hope you enjoy. Days are so noisy, my screen is too bright i'm grateful the silence can meet me at night yeah these evenings full of clarity and your solitary company all right peace in the moment So hard to hear, so hard to hear. Now that you're near, yeah, these evenings full of clarity and your solitary company right here. I said, Who? That's going to happen again if you want to sing it. Holy, so holy are your angel eyes. Holding it closely as you. Beautiful mind who dances on the canvas. Oh, I never could have dreamed that you would be mine. Yeah, these evenings full of clarity, 
solitary company, all right. everyone guys give give some claps up for blake in the chat guys he was amazing thank you sir thanks for coming on that was awesome hope to hear from you make soon sure maybe you, back at club make sure you guys wash your hands and um make sure you you do like gym workouts in your basement or something stay in shape that's what i've been doing if anybody wants to get on skype or facetime and do some insanity gym workouts with me let me know. I'll be there for you. Love you guys. guys. Him up here at again at Rake All right, guys. So we hit our viewer challenge. Um, so we're gonna have Andy come on and request, and we're gonna see um, what her punishment is. All right. So we're gonna have her. Here we go. We're just waiting for it to come on real quick. Hey, everyone. Hey. So I have to do the challenge now because we got up to 47 views. I think we were actually at like 50, so we were at a lot. So I saw a lot of peaking. comments that said either hot sauce or soy sauce. So you guys pick between those two, whichever ones. So we got hot sauce and soy sauce. Same in the comments, guys. I really don't want to do either of them. So if you suggest toothpaste, maybe that would be great. But yeah, I think I think hot sauce. Put okay. hot sauce in the comments. We're going with hot sauce. Oh, not yet. We're. Just, oh, I'm I just saying hot soy sauce. sauce. So we have a couple soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce. Wow, soy sauces. I think it's running away with it. Oh, two hot sauce. I'm seeing like half of. Each. So, Charlie, which one? Hot sauce? All right, I'm going to coin. Heads, hot sauce, tails, soy sauce. Ooh, tails. Hot sauce. Oh. Yeah, hot sauce. <laughs> okay, hot sauce. All right. So that's going to go there. And I got my toothbrush. Here's the hot sauce. I'm just letting you know I, like, hate hot sauce. So this is going to be, like, disgusting. Ooh. Okay. Here's my toothbrush. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you're just burning my mouth. Okay. Oh man. I don't, I don't like this at all. Okay. Well, Annie, right. while you're doing that, explain the next viewer challenge to the people. I need like water. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're at 37 views right now. My mouth is on fire. If we it's get about... up, <laughs> if we get up to like 47 or 50. Chris will have to come on here, and he will be doing another viewer challenge. Guys, oh. we got to get people in here. We got Chris. Oh. So if you want to see Chris suffer like I just had to suffer, go ahead and get him on here. Okay? Guys, and his okay. challenge is to get pie in the face. So we got to get people in here. <laughs> get up. Well, Annie, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, no problem. I'm like, we hope you get some yeah. milk or something. Um, <laughs> uh, Snyder or Snides12, Carson, he says use lotion. Oh, that sounds like a great plan. Okay. I got um, to go. I'm all right. on fire. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. No problem. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to do round two of Gaspinage. So if you want to be on the live, send a request in. We'll get you on. We'll get you all set up. Send the request in, guys, if you want to be on the game. So we got round two, Gaspinage.
Send your question, guys. Oh, we got a couple. Let's see who, see who we got. Guys, we got some technical difficulties going on. I don't know what is going on. Bear with me for just yeah, you know, a couple, couple seconds, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I'm trying to click the request, but it seems like the button is uh, a little frozen on my phone. I don't know. We might have to try back in. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it real quick. Come back in, and we'll get round two going. Guys, we're back in it. Guess me on round two. If you want to be on the live, send your quest. Got a bunch of people requesting in. Let's see who we got. All right, guys, we're bringing in Ella. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, Ella. Uh -oh. Hello. Ella, we got guess me not round two. Are you ready? Maybe, yeah. All right, here we go. Question is, what percentage of people have eaten a hot sauce packet in the past month? Wait, a hot pocket or a hot sauce packet? Oh, I read that completely wrong. <laughs> eating a hot pocket in the past month. Um, I don't, I don't eat hot pockets. Like You have none in your freezer right now. No. Wow. Do you? I would say, I think I do. um, uh, 47, maybe 32. 32. Guys, we're in with 32. In the comments, higher or lower? Stop How's quarantine been going? Bored or uh, got some schoolwork? Oh, uh, schoolwork for sure, but I'm bored too. You know, shout out to Corona for just ruining all of our spring semester. But, you know. Sports. Sports, down the drain, everything. Oh, All right, a couple more seconds. 32, higher or lower? The correct answer is 18%. Okay. So everyone said lower. Congratulations. Uh, oh, that was a very close guess. Honestly, thank, I would have meant you. higher. Thank you. Well, so thank you for joining the stream. Thank you thank for, you for uh, having me. <laughs> coming on, guessing. All right. All right, guys. That concludes the round. So we're gonna, just in case for the people in the comments, there's some have some tiebreakers. So we got the tiebreaker question, and this you have to say the exact number. Okay. So what percentage of people have successfully retrieved prizes from one of those claw machines? The exact number, guys. Looking for an exact percentage. So send them in the comments. We're looking for an exact percentage. I think it's 32, 12, 1%. Guys, throw them in there. Josh will pick up 3%. I think it's that low. We got 72. Jake's thinking you're a fibber. Carson Snyder with a 17. 50. It's so 64. All right, guys. A couple more seconds. Oh, pretty exact guess from Billy, 15.89. Uh, Let's see how that pays off. It's 69%. Who's the closest? I think Eleni was the closest without going over. So congratulations, Eleni. I don't know if that puts you in the lead, but we'll see. Matt is at home calculating the scores now. Um. So, guys, next up. Wait, have we hit our challenge? Can anybody in the comments hit or see if we got the challenge? I don't know. But we're going to bring in Josh and Micah for some announcements. Let's see if we can get them in here. Micah, I'm adding you. Let's 
Ooh, Micah declined. Let's see if Josh wants in. There All right, what's up, guys? Some Young Life announcements time. Starting off, you guys, you guys want to follow us on social media. We got everything on social media. Uh, right now, message CC message at CC West Wild to talk to someone to get added to the group me because you guys want to be in the group me for all the information. All right, next up, um, camp link is in the bio for the CC uh, YL, the Instagram account. It's in the bio. It's it's still scheduled. All right, so we got Camp Cost Money. So we got a 41 and Change Coffee Company fundraiser. So five bucks goes to your camp camp trip. Um, one dollar towards sending a Nicaraguan kid to Young Life Camp. Um, you guys just message message this Instagram account for info. Message it, and we'll get that we'll get that to you right away. All right, on Friday, this Friday, there's a virtual lunchroom Instagram live. Um, I think Charlie's going on. He's going to do a little yes, demonstration. Charlie. Uh, what's he cooking? We'll we'll find out. We'll find out yeah, when it happens. Know. We'll um, find out when it happens. Might be some ramen, some okay. gourmet ramen. <laughs> you gotta do something good. Hey, bring He's... your lunch. Bring your lunch to the studio. Yeah, bring your lunch. All right. Next Wednesday we got office trivia night. So come up, watch. Yeah. Next Wednesday we'll have a live. It's gonna be office trivia. Check the group me for details next Wednesday. If you haven't watched office, uh, you're you're ridiculous. Watch it. <laughs> Um, if you're interested in, little, in going a little bit deeper, um, and learning a little bit about God, um, Monday nights on Zoom, we have campaigners, so just DM for information, just DM this account, and you can do that. And guys, may, this may be a little unorthodox, but please do not silence your cell phones for all of this. Do not silence your cell phones. You need to get all the notifications and just be ready for the next ones. And this mustache is intentional, guys. Just saying. It looks beautiful. I love it. Thank you. All right, guys. So now we're going to bring on Matt. But Matt has a question for you guys. So with this whole quarantine thing going on and corona going around, how is that making you feel, like, deep inside? So not just, like, on the surface, but kind of, like, how do you guys really feel about this? Like, are you feeling, like, lonely, kind of, like, bored? Um depressed maybe who knows but matt we're gonna bring matt in um oh wait no i think we got some winners now we'll bring matt in and he'll, he's gonna give a talk for us um yeah so put in the comments how you guys are really feeling about um just this whole corona going on hey guys uh so thanks charlie um oh yeah no uh, problem Great club so far. So I'm uh, reading some of these comments about how you feel right now. Uh, Eleni says, hate it. Eleni says, lonely. Um, bored. Yep, another bored. Isolated. Upset. Bored. Lonely. Lonely. Livid. There you go. Sad. Yeah, I think all of those describe things that we're feeling right now um, about this past month. And um, I don't know if any of you saw uh, my friend Justin Tony. Did you see his article in the paper on Monday? But it was about his senior lacrosse season. And I, for me, like, I, he just wants to play his last, his last uh, year of lacrosse. And to me, the question, though, is will he get that chance? Like, will you return to school? Will uh, there be prom? Will there be graduation for you ladies uh, who watch television? Will there be another bachelorette? Like, will we ever be able to hug someone in public or give someone a firm handshake again? Um, to me, the strangest thing in all of this it's the thing that I've never experienced on this level, and many of you would say that I've lived for quite a number of years, uh, would be the uncertainty of it all. Like, there's no precedent. We don't know what life will look like in a month or two months or six months. And I've thought seriously about this the last couple of weeks. Like, wouldn't it be really cool to be able to time travel into the future and to see how all this ends, to just know what happens and when it ends and how it ends well, the bottom line is I believe that there is someone who knows. Um, I want to share with you a story from the Bible about Jesus. 
uh, the guy who knows and how he responded to a cer uncertain and scary situation. Um, this is an event that is actually recorded three times in the Bible from three different perspectives. Uh, so it's a really important one. And the disciples, who are Jesus's close friends, his 12 closest friends, he spends a lot of time with them. Um, they were taking a trip uh, by boat across the Sea of Galilee. Now, boat rides are not something that probably many of you, definitely not me, that I do very often. Um, but at least seven out of these 12 guys were fishermen. So they're used to it. Like they, they're very used to the sea and to boat riding. But on this trip, a storm whips up. That's something unlike they have ever seen before, an unprecedented storm. And they aren't sure how it's going to turn out, much like our situation. Um, how do we know this? Well, the Bible says this. It says, because uh, it says the waves, they were breaking over the boat and it was nearly swamped. So the boat is nearly sinking. And we also know it's something they've never seen before because of the way that these experienced fishermen, how they respond. They come to Jesus in a panic and they scream, Jesus, save us. We are going to drown. Now, here's the thing. Jesus, during this, is the exact opposite of panic at this point. How do we know this? Well, the Bible says this. It says that he was actually sleeping on a cushion when they came to him in panic. Uh, the biggest storm these guys have ever been through, and Jesus is actually catching some Z's right through the middle of it. The complete opposite of panic. So Jesus gets up. Imagine him doing one of those, like, you know, stretches where he's yawning, and he gets up, and he's, he just says to the wind and the waves, he says, quiet, be still. And it was completely calm. And then he turns to his disciples, his friends, and he says, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? So what's this mean for us? Well, listen, Jesus did make the circumstances swirling around the disciples completely stop and go calm. And he may do that with, in a miraculous way with the coronavirus. But if he doesn't, and if things get worse before they get better, that doesn't mean that he's not real and that he's not just as powerful. One thing I do know that stands out to me, though, is that Jesus isn't panicked. He isn't panicked by the coronavirus. It hasn't caught him off guard. Like, it's not like many of us this week, like he's finally stocking up on heavenly toilet paper and hand sanitizer because he couldn't find any last week. Like, that's not him. I also know he's not asleep on the job and missing all that's going on in the world that he's created. Jesus says two things. He says, be still, and why are you afraid? We can be still and rest in the fact that Jesus has this. He had complete control on the Sea of Galilee and that storm, and he has complete control of the storm that we're in the midst of right now. And because of that fact, there's no reason to be afraid. But if you find yourself going down that road of these what ifs in this real uncertain time that we're in, we can also see here that we have a friend in Jesus who invites us to come to him and find the peace that he offers. Just like the guys on the boat, it's a peace that when you tap into it, it will leave you amazed. I want to leave you with this. I'm going to end with a verse, two verses that are later in the Bible. It's in a book. Uh, in the Bible called Philippians. It's a letter written by one of Jesus' followers, Paul, and he writes it from jail. So Paul is a guy who's writing from jail. He knows a thing or two about uncertainty and about scary and difficult times. And here's what he says. He says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In everything, no matter what you may be feeling right now, bring your request to God because he offers us peace that's beyond anything that we can humanly understand, and it's available to us right now. So that's my encouragement for you tonight. Thanks for listening, guys. Guys, get up from Matt. Some claps in the comments. Um, Matt, thanks for joining us. Thanks for giving that awesome talk. So now we're going to bring it over to Billy, and he's going to announce the winners of our game tonight. So we're going to have Billy uh, request in. And we'll get our winners announced. Guys, I just want to remind you, the winners will get DoorDash to their house. What What do you want to get as your meal? It's up to you. Um, we're going to have Billy request in. And we'll see who the winners are. Just loading in real quick. Guys, who do you think won? In the comments, who do you think? I'm, I'm in. Billy's in. Thank you. Charlie, I'm glad to see your uh, your internet's holding up. Yeah, guys, I got some really crappy internet. 
hopefully uh, your, uh, your Call of Call Duty, Duty will download. <laughs> I got the winners so. right here. All right. Uh, sorry if I butcher your name. Um, for the closest percentage, we have uh, Ella Busse or Busse. Sorry, I'm terrible. At this. Um, and for higher and lower. Uh, we have Jake Jensen. That's for the uh, the Gespian Ash players. So uh, thank you, uh, Ryan. Uh, appreciate the uh, the support there, Al's Ryan. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, stay safe during this coronavirus time. Let's, let's wash our hands. Let's uh, let's not even uh, fist bump. No fist bumps. Just uh, just maybe give an elbow. But that's it. So, all right. All right. Thanks so much, Billy. Coming yeah, on. Yeah, that's so that is the words for advice. Guys, if you won, uh, you're probably going to message by this Instagram account um, in the next couple of days before Friday because that's when you're getting it. Um, but, yeah, thanks for joining in, guys. Um, it's been a great time. Stay safe with Corona, oh, as Billy Matt said. Wanted to, Matt wanted to we see got the, the bald air. head. Whoa, it's, it's coming back. Might need a yeah. round two. Might need Ooh. a round two. You might want to pick that real, real quick. I, maybe, I, maybe I will. Maybe I will. All right, we're going to add you Kristen. Should, you should shave your hair. Hey, oh, yeah. he wants to see he wants to see Charlie shave his hair. Put it if in the we comments. Get, um, Thank you. Let's see your uh, let's see Charlie shave his hair. Thank you. If we get a million views, uh, we'll shave ahead. But um, we're gonna bring Chris in for some final comments. Let's see uh, if we can get a request in. I'm trying to find it real quick. I don't know, Chris. It's not letting me. Re uh, mm. Chris, I don't know, man. I can't get you in. So, guys, I can't get Chris in, but thanks for joining us.